from today. I, I think normally you would have the, the menu bar on the top uh, with the, the dashboard. You can see the dashboard. On the dashboard, you can see um, uh, basically your lodgement, what's, what you have saved, what you have uh, lodged today, complete the lodgement today, and how much you have lodged mm -hmm. altogether. So on your dashboard, you can see basically your, your desk what you have done and, um, and uh, of course if you've got outstanding reports, what's coming, what outstanding. Um, and it's, you, there's, it, on this account we have no outstanding reports. And of course in, two, in terms of going to, you know, you can, um, the my clients, basically you can add clients, you can view your, all your clients and all the, uh, and of course access into the lodgement process. What I'm going to do is just basically go through the lodgement process of an activity statement and, and then we go through the functionalities of, of you know, what you can do. Of course, you can manage your practice in here, you can manage your work, you can manage your, um, you know, um, um, the lodgement process. So for our lodgement, uh, normally we go to the client and then we basically, when you click clients, it will give you a list of all the clients that you have. Of course, if you've got a lot of clients, you can go into the filter and basically go specifically to that client that you want to lodge. So normally you would see the forms uh, for each one of the clients. So when you click on the forms, it will basically list out all the, all the forms that you can access or you have subscribed to um, and enable you to do. So activity statements, we normally just, you know, if you select the activity statements or, um, um, and it, it basically you go, go with the flow and select the date range that you want to lodge for that entity. So for example, if you, for this particular client that you want to lodge activity statements and might have that, that client have not lodged an activity statement for many years, you can go back as far as um, you know, 2000 and, uh, 2010 or 11 or even 8 um, itself. Put, once you put in the date range, what our system do, does is that it connects with the ATO and lists out all the activity statements for that particular period that, you, that that entity has outstanding and haven't lodged. So you can select that activity, the activity statement that you want to lodge and fill in the details. Um, yeah, so once you click on the form, you uh, similar to other forms as well, so you basically put in the date range that you want to report, our system does then connect to the, the government agency. In this case, we are connected with not only the ATO, but also all the OSR, um, all the states and territory revenue officers as well. So you select the right form, select the period and go with the flow and basically fill in the details. Our, um, Gov reports integrate with a couple of software, so you can upload the file or export the file from compatible software. At the moment, we integrated with um, Zero, MYLB, um, QuickBooks, uh, and CSV. and we accept CSV file as well. So you know, for those clients that you know, system is a little bit more complex, like SAP, they use SAP. Their system generate uh, activity statement in the form of C in the format of CSV. So you can upload, and of course, NetSuite. So you can upload the file and or export the file if they cloud-based and connect and it's not only our system uh, import um, the data auto pre-fill from the ATO data but also pre-fill from the software that, that your clients use. So it saves you not only the time but also you know possible reducing the errors that possible you know, when you data entry into another system that's possibly the case. Um, you can then review go through it and um, Right to the go to right to the the very end when you finalize all your uh, all your figures and and um, validated it validate the report you can then send to your clients for approval um, either by email or with digital signature that now we've now just re recently released you can send it to your clients and get their their approval once you got the approval our system updated with digital signature our system automatically updated with. If you send by email, you gotta go back in and and lodge. That's the process. That's that's basically the process with gov reports. Because you can have secondary users, you can have you know additional users. So if you, in your practice you have more than more than uh, you know uh, you have supporting staff that does the preparing or does you know like different look after different clients, you certainly can also manage that that responsibilities as well. So you can allocate the, uh, the, the role, the, the task, the, uh, the client, and of course the lodgement capability. So depending on, on your practice. Once you've lodged, you get a lodgement receipt uh, directly from the ATO, and that lodgement receipt basically stayed there. If there is an issue in the future with the ATO saying, well, we haven't got it, you can certainly 
send that relodgement receipt to the ATO. This is when the date that the stamp, the lodgement stamp has, you know, from the ATO directly. Um, we have a, a few cases where the ATO come back and, you know, with, with the, the, the agent and say they haven't got it and they still can't find it. Um, the, the tax agents or the bus agents straight away to send the lodgement receipt through. This is the date that we lodge. And this, that receipt, because it's from the ATO, they can't argue with that. Um, also, um, uh, of course, with the, all the your lodgements, whatever has been submitted to the ATO, you have a copy, you can print it out, you can print it out in PDF, you can print it, send it directly to your clients for, for proof that it has been sent, and of course you can also send it um, the lodgement receipts as well. The reason I went to Gov Reports is Sortiana or Gov Reports at an ICB thing, and I was going in, lodging my bazes, printing it to a PDF, then typing up a letter, emailing it to the client to say that they authorised me to lodge it, sending it off, waiting for it to come back. Gov Reports has this awesome little tool, so long as they're added to your OzKey, you can go in, lodge it, automatically you can save it to draft, then email it off to the client, and it automatically has a signature where they have to sign it, and then they email it back, then you can lodge it. So then you've got your authority to lodge. I have a history of it, I can forward a copy to the client straight away, and I can ex explain to them, please be pay this amount by this March, by this date, or you need to refund this, please sign this by this date. It's just automatic. I can look at my history, and I've got like 400 lodgements in there. I love the fact I can go on site. If I forget my laptop, I can access Gov Reports. I can access any BAS. I can, act, I can lodge payment summaries. I can lodge TPARs. There's asset, PAYG um, tax file declarations, all that. It's just, you don't need your Auscare, you don't need to say, I'll take it back to the office and lodge it. Payroll tax. Payroll tax, yeah. So, it's absolutely awesome. It's, it probably get Tiana, if this isn't working for her tonight, unfortunately, I can see that. But, ring her and get her to do a bit of a demo over the phone. It's awesome for Activity Summit. And that's free. And I think the other stuff, like, I won my this year's subscription at the ICB conference. I won the thing at the ICB conference, so I've got another free 12 months. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't go without it. If you're an accountant, it's different. They have programs that lodge all that stuff. As a bookkeeper, I don't. But this gives me a history of everyone that I've got, and I can see it, and I get the signed authority straight away. Understand it. I, I'm open to it, yeah. but I'm wanting to know the benefits. and what it can and can't do and I'm not getting that, sorry. The thing is when you go into the portal to enter the, to, to enter the details for lodgement, unfortunately you've got that time frame where you have to enter that, that details and, and, and lodge it immediately. Yeah. But with us, because you can save and resume, you can go back, you can, say, you can draft your work, validate it, then send it to your client, wait for approval. Once you've got the approval, then you can lodge. So you basically, the, 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 the process of you doing it is at your own pace and basically bring in the compliance much easier. What, you have, what, what you've done at the moment with the portal is that when you, you finalise the report, you get the signature, then you go to the portal and you enter the details. That's the process. But with us, it's basically it's the other way, the compliance way. You basically, once you, you know that this, you send, when you send it to the, your client, it's the final draft that you have to pay for them and that's basically the new lodge. I didn't have to go take, go and buy CDs, you know, make sure it's formatted properly and send it off and then you get a, a letter from them saying it didn't work. I just started using it when I did payment summaries and also on that little side, to cover the cost of it, I charge my clients because I say you have to charge it electronically, even if it's $25. You only need a couple of clients and you cover your cost. The, the way our system works is that we not only accept the, the upload of the, the MGIP file, but also for those clients that you do not that do not use accounting or payroll software, they generate MGIP file. You can go in go in there and enter the details and generate the file and lodge directly to the ATO. You can, of course, you can send it to the employees. You can send it to the employer, verifying the the PAYG payment summary that you have created and lodge direct. This is instead of getting your clients to sign up, you know, to sign up for a payroll software that which they might not need because their business might be so small that or, or they do not use, you know, there is no need for them to use software. This is the perfect thing that um, you know you can use as well. Similar to taxable payment annual report as well. If they don't use software, certainly our system accept not only um, the the TPA file from any software that um, that generate TPA file, but also we we also accept CSV file upload, um, and or you enter the, the the data manually and lodge directly. 
And one other thing I'll say is they're on the end of the phone. They actually are human beings that answer the phone yeah. within, like, you don't even have to. I rang twice yesterday, lodging Baz's really quickly and couldn't do it. And Tiana was on the end of the phone this time, plus her other partner answered me within a minute and a half, went, thank you, moved on to the next one. So it's not like the ATO where you're on hold for 25 hours.